Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I'll give you a walkthrough of one of the retire machine of Hack the Box. The name of the machine is Acute. It's a hard machine. In this video, I'll try to cover how to uh, elevate the privileges of one user to the another user using the PowerShell. Everything I'll try to cover in this video. So let me go to the system now to get it compromised this machine. So before proceeding further in this video, so first of all, this is my technical channel where you can get all the writers which I have published it so far. Okay. And this is my technical uh, blog where you can get the write up of all those stuff which I have published it so far. Okay. These are the categories, subcategories of these things. Okay. Now let me go to the machine now and try to get it solved. It's a hard machine which is supposed to solve it today. It's acute. Okay. So what the first command which we have to figure out, uh, figure out the target ports, it's nmap, we have to run it from our side and try to figure out like what are the services are running on a target machine. So over here port 443 is the only port is enabled over here. Okay, other than that, uh, we can able to get the host entry also. We're supposed to do the host entry also from our side for this. So let me go to the browser uh, terminal once again and put the host entry. Okay, so I'll show you that I've already put it the host entry for my site. So you simply have to do this directly on a terminal. These are the two entries we're supposed to do it with this uh, IP address. So it's ATS server dot dot local or acute dot local. Okay, these are two entries we're supposed to do it. Once you're done with that, you simply have to copy this. Okay, I have already did that. Now I'll simply have to try to get it access this host directly on a browser. Try to know like what are type of what access output is supposed to get it. Okay, so this is the one which we are supposed to get it. Okay, click on about us. I can able to see couple of things and one which we are looking for it is the names which we are supposed to make a word list later on. Okay, that's one of the thing. Now what we are supposed to do, we will simply have to click on it, okay, this one and uh, this file is not directly working on Kali as I don't have the open office. So I have copied that on my base machine itself and I will try to get it access that. So let me show you the content of that file. Okay, so this is the content you are supposed to get it. Couple of things you can see over here itself, okay. So this is the one which we are looking for it, try to get it access. Okay, other than that, I don't think so anything else. So this is one other thing other than that we can able to see the password also. So let me figure out where exactly I can able to get the password. There is one section where I'm getting the password also. Okay, so this is the password. Okay, so password we already have it. We'll simply have to look for the username. Okay, so what we're supposed to do? I'll try to get it access that uh, uh, the remote one which we are getting it and try to get it access that oh, straight forward. Okay, so what is the stuff? And one more thing which I forget to tell you, like this is also another thing by which we get the computer name. So except tool you have used it earlier also. So you simply have to use that tool and with this doc file by this way you can able to get the computer name as there is one other thing which we are getting on a screen. It require a couple of fields to be get it access. Okay. So these things I'll try to figure out by multiple ways and now I'll try to get it access. So this is the URL you are supposed to get it by the doc. Uh, where a remote is highlighted a hyperlink when you, once you click on it you can able to redirect to this section once you try to get it access it you can able to see the username and the password so the username i have already created for my site i'll told you like last time this is the section where you can get the list of the users so i have tried individually each and every user itself or you can brute force from your side but it's a list of five to six users so i have not tried for the brute force so individually when I try it for the access of multiple users by that way one user it's working fine the condition is working fine for this uh, target machine and the computer name is acute PC01 so this is the one let me try to get it access I think it will work so we can able to insert of it and this is a PowerShell in a browser now what we're supposed to do now so Proceeding further, uh, it's better for me to create one like I'll supposed to take a control of this 
like on a browser is difficult for us to find a lot of things so it's better for me to uh, trigger a shell and by that way i can uh, capture that on my terminal so that i can able to do everything for my terminal itself so let me create one of the file over here with shell.exe okay and uh, the username and password is straightforward same for me it's already created on my base machine so i'm not creating it once again okay it's already created but this is the command here to fire it to make that shell.exe file using ms venom once you're done with that what's uh, what are you supposed to do uh we just have to go to the browser we'll just try to go out of this section okay so let me check nothing is there so i think it's already reset it so what we're supposed to do now uh the file is already created what we'll do now we'll simply run python 3 hyphen m and this one is running over here now what we're supposed to do we'll set up the msf uh handler also multi handler also so that when we trigger that shell it automatically get the access of it using the metapeter shell we're supposed to get the access okay so that is one of the thing okay so in the meantime what we're supposed to do once this will be getting over let me try to get it download this file directly on my target machine so we are using an invoke hyphen web request and the path of the file from where we try to get it download on our base machine itself base machine in the context target machine itself okay so by this way it's get copied okay we'll try to see dir we can able to see the file okay that's one other thing now go to the msf console and now we'll try to get it configure the stuffs okay so i'm aware about it we are setting the multi handler so that was the reason i am not searching for those steps uh let me try to set this one it's windows it's windows uh, metapreter no no i think it's x64 x64 metapreter underscore reverse underscore tcp show options set our host set l host sorry uh, we have to set it its ip address standard 14102 then we'll set for l port it's 1337 whatever the port and ip address you have defined it in msf winner shell.exe file then automatically users set that same configuration over here itself now what we're supposed to do we'll just run with the exploit okay simultaneously uh, this is learning over here itself this will done now we'll go to the browser and we'll try to execute that file so once we execute it, we're supposed to get the metapeta shell over here. Okay, that's one of the thing. You try to get it execute this to know like uh, Adavis is the user name. Now what we're supposed to do, we'll go to the shell directly, switch to the PowerShell. Okay, these are the steps which is initially required for it. And now there are a couple of things i will show you that also uh, let me try to show you that okay so there is a uh, screen one is also required this is the first time i have shared i have seen that okay so once you run with that you have to wait for some time and after a few minutes itself you can see like the user is trying to get it access and you can see couple of stuffs over here itself okay you just have to be see the stuffs just take a screenshot of those uh, content and by that way you can able to proceed further with that so i'll just wait for some time so you can able to see the commands these things we are not doing it it's automatically happening from the server side so these command make sure you have to use it <coughs> to get it configured
perfect so i think that's it now this is done we'll go to the shell then we'll make it a power shell that's it we'll in a, we are in a power shell now now what is the next step for it we'll try to run i have config and we can get the ip address it's 22.2 .2. Okay, now we'll try to ping also ETS server. So let me try to get it copy, try to paste it, ping. Okay, you can able to ping it. So locally we try to ping it, we can able to. Now I'll try to cover up. So what are the commands you're seeing in that uh, screen share itself? Screen share itself. So you try to fire those commands straight forward with this user and by that way, uh, we get the privileges of that user. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll simply try to paste that. These commands are already present in my uh, write-up. You can get it directly. Okay, so these commands are straightforward. We are using it. And now when we try to invoke command and try to see the who am I, we can able to see like the user is in monk. Yeah, in monks. Okay, so now the user is changed. Now we will try to access user.txt file whether we can able to access it with this or not we can able to see the content of user.txt with imonks. Now we will try to figure out the list or I can say that a get command list of get commands. So I will try to figure out and I can able to see a lot of get commands. Okay now the next step for it we will try to see the get alias. So we can able to see the list of get alias also. Now we just try to figure out the file inside of the program files. We just try to list it uh, the files inside of the program files. We can able to see that list also. Okay, that's one other thing. Now the next step for it will try to see what exactly inside of the desktop desktop folder of the same user. So I can see it's a user directory which we already fetched the content and wmi.ps1. Okay. Now simultaneously what I'm supposed to do, I'll run this uh, listener on 444. Okay. I'll let you know why we are running it in a minute. Now what I'm supposed to do, I'll try to modify the content of this. Uh, I can see that are wmi.ps1 so I'll try to modify the content from my side and what I'm supposed to do I'll put it this content where I'm mentioning my IP address and then when, I, when we try to get it triggered this file it's automatic give us the reverse shell so that was the reason I'll put it this entry from my side okay once we're done with that yeah it's done now we'll try to see the content of that file so you can see the content now and you can able to see the last line which we try to get it added it's automatically added over here now what we're supposed to do we'll simply run this so before running that uh, there is one more thing which i forget to tell you like uh, we required nc.exe also so i'll i have already put it in my machine itself on a base machine kali and i try to get it imported to uh, the same folder utils nc.exe file okay once you're done with as uh, as in the command itself, we will require that to be get it executed by that way only we get the reverse shell as we don't have that file instead of the target machine that was the reason we required that to get it imported. I imported now everything is set. Okay, everything is set now. Now what we are supposed to do, we will simply run this command and by that way we get the reverse shell. So let me trigger this file. And we'll just wait for a second. I think we get the shell. Okay. So now you can see we get the shell with a J Morgan rights. Okay. So now what is the next step for it? Uh, we'll just go to the users once again, utils. <coughs> so now there is one other thing. We'll try to download sem dot back and since dot back file with this privileges of jmorgan okay and we'll try to get it download and uh, then we'll try to retrieve the hashes of the user so i'll try to get it download in my base directory utils then again utils 
okay now i'll go to this section and i'll try to download it to the metadata to the metadata only we can able to download the file okay let me download this and then we'll try to get it download sys back okay it will take a time okay so i'll show you that directly so you can see both the files are present over here itself we'll go to the minal and try to retrieve the hash so this is the we are using a package secrets dumb dot py and this is a syntax for it to retrieve that uh, hashes out of it so we can able to hit the hash of administrator okay so what i'll do i'll try to get it access uh, crack station let me try to get it access the crack station okay and over here itself i'll try to copy the hash okay and now go to the browser once again try to put this this and i think by this way we can able to retrieve the password okay so this is the administrator password which which, which we supposed to get it now what we what we will do we'll use the same password and we'll try to uh, privilege our right from a current george uh, j morgan to avalanche so let me go to the terminal previous shell so now we will use the same password and uh, to privilege it from j morgan to awf uh, we just try to elevate the access to avalanche okay that's another user so now let me fig trigger the command so this is for first okay now we use the same dollar pass for the avalanche these things we are doing it with the powershell directly okay now when i try to see like who is who am i we have the rights of avalanche as we have set that password for it oh sorry seeing something wrong in it oh sorry i have to set it that as a powershell now let me trigger the command once again we are doing it with a command command dot exe so that was the reason it's not working uh, let me trigger it all three command once again with powershell okay and now we'll fire the who am i just to know what exit the user and we can able to see it's a blanks cute okay so now what's the next step for it we'll try to see there is a file present in a program files or not and we can able to see there is a keep me on dot bat file is present over there itself okay we'll try to see the content also so this is the content of the file okay so now one more thing which we supposed to do we'll try to see a group net group slash domain also so we can able to see all the stuff which we are looking for it now what is the next step for it we'll try to see site admin slash domain whether it's a member of it or not it's a member okay so now these are the two step forward command which we supposed to do it from our side and by that way we try to uh, we try to get it access this file okay let me try to put it this is a pen test Mm, some modification also was to do it. Okay, pen test and over here also it's a pen test. Perfect. So let me try to trigger this. So this is the command. Make sure here the file name is whatever you just want to mention it. Let me trigger this. Okay, it's done. Now the next command which we try to figure out. trigger it and this is the so all the commands you can get it directly from my write up these are the commands we are triggering in now we just try to elevate the rights and uh, in one of the case we try to add our user in a domain section so that it's become a domain admin 
okay so now this is done net group site admin alarm slash add to the slash domain section okay that's done now if we try to see now once again site admin one i can able to see it's a member now okay now perfect so now what's the next step for it if i try to access now the root.txt file i can able to see the content of it i can able to see the content oh it's not working i think something is wrong over here uh let me try to put it once again it should be working so as it's not working over here so it may be some problem over here so let me try to proceed further with that um, and we'll try to get it access a right of root so that uh, administrator right so that we can able to directly try to get it access the root.txt file okay so let me try to see the privileges now and i can able to see the privileges okay so now what we're supposed to do we'll try to set the password for pen test is one of the user we are creating it from our site and we'll try to set the password for it and domain also as a admin one okay we'll try to set that done successfully now what we'll do we'll try to set this user add in a domain domain admin okay so we created a user over here and then we'll add this same user in domain admin once it's done let me go to the terminal once again <coughs> we start the listener once again this time on triple four okay we'll start with that now we'll go back to the we'll go back to the terminal once again and i think over here it's already we can able to see and see if it's present so no need of it i think nc is already present so no need to fire this command if it's not then in that case we require to execute that so it's already present so i'm not i'm using that file directly so this time also what we're supposed to do we'll just run uh says oh sorry i think it's required in a slash program section itself that was the reason it's not let me download that in a program file itself program data so this time now what we'll do we'll try to download uh, uh, wcat and nc64.exe file and we'll just try to get it transfer it to program data slash nc.exe let me trigger this command i think it's, this should be work access denied access denied so now it's working fine actually i have tried to <coughs> fire the same commands once again and now uh, in case of members i can able to see uh, um, events and even when i try to run the root.txt file i can able to see the content of it okay now we'll proceed further to get the root level rights okay so now what we're supposed to do we'll try to add uh, first see the privileges so what is happening with that it's losing the privileges continuously i'm not sure why it's happening okay let me try to run all the commands once again i think it's losing the privileges that's the only main reason behind it uh mm, let me try if it's clearing okay so let me try to run once again we can able to see the root.txt but i just want to proceed further with that so let me do it bit fast once again and try to see whether it will work appropriately whatever the way we try to get it solved it's the same command which we have triggered earlier i try to get it run it once again and events we are getting it now i'll try to see this over here you can see the pentest.bat also as we have already created that okay now 
this is the command we try to get it triggered so again we can able to see the content of the bat file now we'll try to see the net group slash domain okay now what's the next next is this we'll try to see the member okay now what we'll do we'll try to trigger this command one and the next one this one is done now we'll try to see whether we can able to see the uh, events no we are not let me try to see root.txt content i can able to read or not not sure what is a problem with this machine or i'll it's required me to restart it it's continuously showing me the error this file is not present so file path which we are providing is does not exist it, it was showing it may be a problem of the writes only which we are not able to see it over here that's the only problem i think if it's not then in that case i have to reset the machine that's the only way let me try last time otherwise i will reset the machine i'll try to simulate it once again it will take a time for me but it's better to sort it out it I think this time also it will not as we I'm not able to see the user in that section. Okay, I can able to see the content now. Let me try to trigger it more. This will work. Now we'll try to add our user. I think I'm getting the error now. <coughs> I'm getting the error once again. Mm -hmm. I think I have to reset the machine. We'll wait for some time and then I'll reset the machine. So after a lot of trouble, now finally I'm able to get the shell of this so i'll i'll show you that the um, steps what exactly the steps i'll take it the same command i'll try to get it triggered last time i'm getting the error so i'll try to trigger the command first like this okay then i'll try to trigger the command this once i'll trigger with that i'll get the reversal the steps are already we mentioned in my writer we can get it directly over here it's not looks like appropriate that was the reason you're not able to see it clearly uh, before that you have to create the user and everything so that you have already and i have already explained you earlier so that was one of the thing you have to do it then you have to trigger that shell and then you can get the shell once you get the shell it's automatically a uh, administrator level shell okay so i'll go to the administrator directly okay now i'll go to the desktop and now what i'll do i'll do do dot txt and i can able to see the content so these are the steps which i just want to get it covered now i'll give you a summary once again and uh, this will be like the port 443 is the initial port which we get it then we'll proceed further with that uh, browser uh, for the browser we get a lot of information about it then we'll proceed further with the terminal we'll get the username and credential we'll try to get it figure out with that uh, we'll get the powershell access through the browser then proceed further we get the using msf console we'll get the control uh, we get the uh, multiplayer session then we'll proceed further with that jumping it using the powershell we'll jumping it from one user to another user we'll get the password uh, we'll get the hash we'll use that hash we'll proceed further with that and finally we get the jmorgan jmorgan will proceed further with that by that way we just get the user flag then we'll proceed further imonk is the first user by which we get the user flag then we'll proceed further with the jmorgan then using jmorgan finally we go go to the amon elons elons is the final user and once we add that in our domain admin section then we'll finally get the uh 
privilege of it and uh, once we have the access of as a reverse shell we getting it when we take it from our side uh, after adding in a domain admin then we'll get the final shell once we get that shell we'll proceed further in administrator folder go to the desktop folder and we can able to see the content of root.txt so that's all about the stuff we just want to get it covered in this video so thank you so much Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. If you like to connect me, you can connect me directly on LinkedIn. The LinkedIn profile link I'll provide in the description section of this video. And if you provide your feedback or if you think like any other reference link, you just want to share it with me, please share it with me. I'll try to make the content uh, through that reference link once again for you. Thank you so much once again. Take care. Bye-bye.